Hi, this is Belinda. Welcome to my channel. Today, let's talk about the importance of post-processing workflow. It doesn't matter if you're a professional photographer, a full-time traveler, or first-time parent, you probably take hundreds, if not thousands of photos every day. But if you have trouble organizing your photos, picking your favorite photos, edit your photos fast with consistent quality, or simply forget about your photos because you don't want to deal with a messy hard drive of photo files, this is the right video for you. As a Lightroom user since 2009, I'm sharing with you what I have learned over the past 10 plus years in a series of videos that will take you just about two to three hours to watch. These videos will cut through all the unnecessary information and help you master all the essential Lightroom tools to achieve pro level productivity and save you tons of time. So you can spend more time with your family and friends instead of your computer. My Lightroom workflow includes six essential steps. Step one, how to import your photos. This is the fundamental step to guide Lightroom where to store and organize your photo files. It might look very easy, but doing this first step right will help you organize your hard drives so you can easily locate your files later on. Step two, how to screen and select your photos. This is an essential step to prepare you for photo retouching. Unless you have unlimited amount of time, you probably wouldn't need to edit all your photos. You want to know what are the best photos worthy of your time to retouch and prepare for online or client sharing. I have used a two-step screening process for the past 10 years, and it has helped me to cut down my work hours significantly. Step three, how to edit your photos with or without presets. If you have tried presets before, you might notice that it is a huge time saver. However, there is never a one size fits all preset that would make all your photos look beautiful. It doesn't exist, period. Even you use presets, you sometimes will have to fine tune different elements of the editing tools. You will also realize pictures captured in different lighting will be best matched with different presets. For example, a travel photo taken in a harsh daylight will be totally different from a landscape photo generally taken in the very soft light during sunrise or sunset. The former is highly contrasted, while the latter is the opposite. Of course, you have to edit them differently. If you have never heard of presets or just want to manually edit your photos, you will learn all the essential editing tools from this episode. Step four, how to build a collection for future reference. Why do you need to build a collection? You probably want to select different photos for different purposes. For example, from the same hundreds of travel photos I take every day during our South America trip, I like to build a collection for my landscape photos and perhaps another one for family photos or perhaps another for future Lightroom tutorials. You don't want to increase your hard drive size by copying and pasting the same files into multiple folders. Lightroom can easily accomplish this within its catalog by just a single set of original files. Step five, how to sort and locate photo files from a large database. This is such an important topic. If you're someone like me, easily taking tens of thousands of photos every year, you will accumulate a huge database of photo files. How to easily find your photos after a photo event or even after years will depend on how well you have organized your photos and how well you can use the metadata tools. Step six, how to name your files and export them for external use, such as online sharing or printing. Now you've done all the good work to organize and edit your files. You need to know the correct setting to export photo files for various different social media channels or printing labs. Most of the time, you don't need to share the original file size to further jam your hard drive for no purpose. 
Changing the files to the correct format is of paramount importance, not only to ensure your photo quality, but also to save hard drive space and essentially overall time and cost. So all these video tutorials are completely free. And it doesn't really matter if you're a beginner Lightroom user or an experienced user, I highly suggest you to watch them in the right sequence because the different work steps are highly correlated. So stay tuned.